11 hours, man. I don't think it was enough, but I slept for 11 hours. I had to wake up, otherwise I was just gonna just completely screw up my sleeping pattern. At least now, after this cast, I can go to bed and wake up at a normal time tomorrow. Invasion top right, Scarlet bottom left. Is it really a best of five? I'm waiting for them to put it up. Oh look, it's Scarlet, crowd favorite. It is a best of five, okay, best of five finals. This is why you don't trust the caster. He just tells you all these things that aren't true. He's like, oh, it's gonna be a best of seven, it's only a best of five. Yeah, he wants my Twitch Prime sub, he doesn't even know. So it is a best of five here, guys. As we get this going. Scott starts bottom left, Turbo Cruise for map number one. Hell of a map to get us started on. As we do see innovation spawn in the upper right. Scott's first overlord moving across is going to dodge around that inhibitor zone. Yeah, the Capedia said best of seven for all these matches today, but it is a best of five. It says best of five on the screen, so. And they both vetoed a map, and you can't veto a map in a best of seven, otherwise, you don't have enough maps unless you just replace them, but well, that wouldn't make any sense. As we set this up, we get this going, guys. And finals underway. Repro opening for innovation. No surprises there as we get this started up. Overlord coming through the bottom side and just going to be seeing the swollen pool about to finish up in the next few moments as well. SUV comes across, builds up a supply depot. And that wall finished up. Very exciting. I mean, I wonder if Innovation just has that similar sort of push that Special had, that push where you can get those tanks in that really deadly corner, and you can just push that bottom base if you do take that as the fourth here as Scarlet. It is a very good map for Rally Pushing, I feel, if you uh, can get some momentum towards the fourth base, because both fourth bases have weaknesses in terms of how you can Rally Push it, so I definitely, and Innovation is like the god of Rally Pushing, right? So it really is kind of his style, although today, earlier when he got ahead against Ayasonu, instead of rally pushing, he decided just to play into the late game. So he's definitely not afraid to let it go there either. Just gonna see this rip again turned away. Wish the ads at the bottom right weren't a thing. They go away. In fact, they've gone away right now. They're only there for the first couple minutes of the game. As you see, Reaper coming through the center of the map. Here's a starport in the main base. Is the factory going to drop down onto that reactor? Barracks going to move across over to the side. And we're just going to be seeing the link speed coming up. Barracks going to start the tech lab. Guys, I know there's lag. For some people, some people don't have lag. There's literally nothing else I can do to fix it. I've done everything I can today already to try and fix the lag issues. So there's nothing else I can do, I'm sorry. Well, did you see the queen about to finish up on that natural? Anyways, Libera coming through here from innovations and a couple more Hellenes as well. Another Marine on the way out. Link speed also going to be completing shortly. A Reaper grenade. <coughs> Just a frat more than anything, it seems. Reaper backs off, and again, just Hellions and Liberate to begin with. Innovation is going to play Bio again. Definitely feels like a better map for Bio with the strength of those rally pushes. Inject going to pop a few lava out here on the natural expansion as well. As more injects dropping down. Third base going to be full of lava shortly, and Skull going to be able to keep spending that. Nice. Lots of drones. Uh, again, very typical from Innovation, just the Liberate and Hellions to harass you early, going straight into that stim pack and the third CC. Very typical way to set up into the bioplay, nothing too crazy about that at all. Hellions through the center as the Queen's going to turn those Hellions away now. So Hellions getting pushed back just a little bit there. Lair is uh, coming through. Oh, with the Bane and Ness at the same time, it's just a pretty, pretty typical time to go into kind of, you know, Baneling speed as the lair finishes. Will that Liberator target fire drones? It will not, and it shouldn't get that queen either. It doesn't, so it goes down. Liberator doesn't really achieve anything in the main. Good defense by Scarlet in the early stages of this now. Very good defense early on. 
Helene's the Reaper continue to move around, fighting against those queens. The two engineering bays finishing up in the back of the natural. So it's just finishing up a little bit there as again innovation. Coming over to this left hand side. And the Helene's looking around a little bit, trying to see where they can go, what they can do. 1 1 upgrade still coming into play, of course, as both players are setting up into upgrades. 1 1 from Scarlet 2. And again, with Bio, we didn't really get to see much Scarlet versus Bio earlier on. She did very well against the first game of Special, where you played Bio with a 2 base all in, but we didn't see like a full on 3 base Terran player Bio game against Scarlet. So I'm excited to see what happens with this this time around. Scarlet just on a really nice drone count already, 64 and going higher. We'll need units soon though, the first medivac's popping out and that's where innovation will move across the map to start cleaning up that first little bit of creep spread, so... First bit of creep spread will be cleaned up shortly, I'm sure. And the background ambient noises on this map can make me think there's a plane flying overhead in my room. <laughs> Setting up in the center of the map. And he's going to be seeing a little bit of shouting going down. Don't know what's going on. He's going to come through and just going to go after the creep uh, teamers. So, by the way, creep getting cleaned out. Marine's going to lift up, come back up to the top now. Man, this crowd is just having a great time. They're laughing and just having a just great time all the time. Swear down. No big engagements just yet. Just a little bit of creep claim. But look at that creep from Scarlet, by the way. It's just in front of all of her bases. She's always been one of the best creep spreaders on this planet. It's actually crazy. Innovation will be hard pressed to continue pushing this back. We'll try through the center though. But then she still has creep up the left and up down the right. To the five bases already as well. Scarlet's not slowing down at all. She got up to that drone cart nice and quickly. Innovation's really not found many ways to pressure her just yet. What's up, Makara DeRay? How you doing? Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime for eight months. Thank you very much. Again, Lings and Bane's hanging out on the left. More creep spreading forwards as well. Medivac's healing up these other few Marines and Halabats. I know. Kind of ready to push forward. Skull just needs to be ready with those couple Widow Mines. Nice. Blows them up. Just for the few Banes. It's completely worthwhile. Drone Claws coming through. Innovation going to turn this into a Widow Mine drop coming across the top side. So looking to try and get rid of some of Scarlet's economy here. What's up, Orostem? Thank you so much for the 10 month for in the chat. Much appreciated. Yeah, this is a really passive uh, game. Someone just mentioned in the chat, really passive eight minutes of TVZ. Even just the the creep clearance has been very, you know, passive. Scholar hasn't really contested at all. Innovation hasn't pushed too far past his comfort zone. So there's not been any need for Skull to do it. I mean, a couple of SUVs going down to the muters, and now this medevac drop is going to be completely shut down. Widow Mines get killed. The muters, meanwhile, in the middle of the map, I think got caught. So I feel like a few muters maybe just died, but I can't check, and we don't see... I feel like a couple of them did get caught in the center there. They're already a little bit low from some damage. More Banelings morphing into the center of the map. And as we see the Mutalisks still hanging out on that right hand side. Bunker going to deal a little bit of damage to Marines. Running down to the bottom right as well. Going to see some of this creep spread being cleaned out too. That main base man full of racks. Scarlet looking, kind of looking for a fight isn't she? Comes in, good control on the muters, grabs that widow mine, gets out of there. Again, more creep. Pushing up the right side of this at the moment and trying to see what's going on. Innovation trying to move out again, he's going up to a fourth base now. Guys, if you're going to call the mods out, for con like again and again for the same thing when the rules are literally don't question the mods in chat and like just call them out like I can't do anything for you like you're obviously too stupid to read the rules so that's why you're getting timed out and don't PM me about it because I'm not gonna fix it if you're just being stupid 
Marines going down, Siege Tank as well, also going to get picked off as the meters break through on the right side. Banelings doing a pretty decent job there, but still just very passive attacks, right? Not much gained at all in this. Adrenal glands dropping down on that spawn and pool setting up as well. Another Baneling going to get coming through. You know, it's going to be seeing Lings running back. 7 SCVs, 9 SCVs going down, and at the same time, the Muir's getting some depots on the side here. The plan we thought was to just not finish to help against these Lings on the left. Now these Muir's do back away. Only 11 SCVs killed, not bad at all. Plus 3 attack, plus 3 armor coming in. 25 more Banelings on the way up, still seeing these Widow Mines, I mean, it's just so slow from Innovation as well, pushing across the map. Scarlet is going to choose to use the Banelings to blow up some depots there. Innovation supply blocked from losing the depots. Oh, Banes over here, get in! Four SCVs going down, if there's a couple more, that would be an entirely dead mineral line. Innovation was just not paying full attention there. First few Banelings getting some Marines initially, and that's a good approach in this game from Scarlet. Cleaned up a little bit, now more Lings and Banes going forward. More Broodlords morphing as well. In fact, scott has gone up to Broodlords throughout this. It's just because of how passive the game has been, right? So it feels like nothing's happened and Broods are here, right? And that's just, I mean, devastating for Innovation because he is not set up to deal with Broodlords at all. I mean, surprised the Widow Mines haven't gone off on Broodlings there just yet and friendly fired. A few Queens on the side, the Lings and Banes want to come in on the left, sending a few Lings forwards and initiates the Widow Mines. She's trying to set off. Now they go down, out. There's not really much else to defend. So the Widow Mines are going to get cleaned out and the Queen's coming through to get more Medivac kills. Lings with a full on swell, it's the swarm that's coming through here from Scarlet and Innovation is starting to drop down quite heavily on units, some more Banes coming through and going to connect on Marines. So a lot more Marines are dropping down here, Broods pressing forwards as well. My gosh, is Scarlet just pumps, I mean it's just the lack of anything to deal with Broodlords at the moment is the largest problem of all. What of mine's Bio, set up between the bases, going to see even more Banelings morphing in as well. So a bunch more Banes coming through. We don't mind on the bottom side. You're gonna see Vikings and Marines pressing forwards. A few Zerglings getting picked off. Banes still running through and well, Broodlord's firing down, getting quite a bit done. Innovation is staying around the similar supply to Scarlet, but I just feel like he's under so much pressure. I mean this plant before was just gonna lose all of his SCVs. Suddenly the Banes are trapping Marines in a corner. Then the Vikings are getting rid of the muters as well, so the muters are kind of falling down too. Transfuse on the muter, I'm not sure about that, rather than just saving it for the Broodlords, but the muters are actually still picking off Marines here. The Broods are gonna help Scarlet push through, and she's gonna find herself game. I'm so really do appreciate it as we get ready for game number two here. Innovation is down a map, spawning in as the Blue Terran in the bottom left hand side. He's popular in China, winning the WSG Global Finals in China earlier this year. It's not a bad country for him. But even more popular in the top right, our Red Zerg is Scarlet. What is this caster? This is a caster who is currently uh, not had much sleep and just decided he wanted to sing along for a moment. It is such a sin to sing along to our intro music when I don't have anything else to add. It really is a best of five, guys. It truly is a best of five. Which, uh, yeah, a bit of a shame. I thought it was going to be a best of seven finals, but not the case. And Innovation just... I really feel like Innovation was just so passive in that first game. And it just kind of came, you know, suddenly the Broodlords are up and there's not that much to defend. And Scarlet will just push through with those Broods and win the game before Vikings are out. And it just feels like she got to Broods very easily. The most Innovation really did was pick up a bit of creep. And Scarlet, while she didn't do much with her mutas, you know, she got a couple of SCVs, she had a couple of little run buys, and... That was just the difference between them, and it was still a very close fight towards the end, but... And, you know, and I think if Skull was just a little bit further behind, the Broods don't kill Innovation. But they were just there, and they did just work out, and... Obviously, I mean, it's a, you know, it's unfortunate, but... That's, uh... That's the way it goes, as we do see this SCV heading to the top right. I mean, it's unfortunate for Innovation, but again, just needed me maybe a couple of drops or something, but it's so hard when Muters are the choice to play from Scarlet to drop reliably, so... Yeah. It's actually crazy, though. It's, uh... You know, because Scarlet did so well against the Bio special as well. I really feel like Scarlet's versus Bio play is extremely solid right now, which makes me wonder, does Innovation now try out a mech style? Your Repugnancy definitely works for mech. It's very popular for that Cyclone Hellion style of play. 
And Innovation has been playing some mech earlier today as well against uh, Ayasonu in the semi-finals, so we have seen Innovation play that style. Speed on the way up, Reaper pressing forwards, and the other Lings coming through, gonna go after that Reaper as well. What's up, Robert Fari, for the 27 month resub? Says, Happy Sunday, Wardy, hope you're well. Thank you so much for the 27 months. Really appreciate it, thank you so very much. Look into the chat for the resubs, guys, appreciate the support. We do see Ling Speed coming up, Numitez Carapace starting as well. It says Carapace means that Skull will have some potential scouting, but it could also be a bit of an all-in. We have seen, you know, attacks like Roachling all-ins with Queens brought in a Dropper Lord. And that's something that can come out of this because you do end up with Pneumatized Carapace, so it's there when your lair completes. That's definitely a possibility as well. Simulian 1k of the Twitch Prime for 9 months as well, says Wardy's the only person I subscribe to on Twitch. Real life StarCraft 2 hero. Thank you so much for the 9 months. I really do appreciate it, dude. Glad you enjoy the content. As man, these two Hellions, though, <coughs> they are giving Scarlet some issues. And she just can't quite get the surround. Oh my god. Five kills. Six. Six drones for two Hellions? That's such an amazing start from innovation. And Scarlet goes back into a set of drones, but we saw earlier against Special, Scarlet losing early drones. It puts her behind because what she loves to do is try and play as greedy as possible to build up that drone count. And that's where she's very comfortable, so... Not really, uh... No, that really, really hurts you, as you are going to be seeing. Stim on the way up. Lair. About halfway done at the moment, as we're going to be seeing. I mean, interesting now is going to be Bio again, right? So... Intrigued to see what innovation maybe changes a little bit here on this map to be more successful. Obviously, getting a few drone kills early is already, you know, a good start, right? A bit of a, something they didn't have on Turbo Cruise. This map in general is easier to push around as well without the inhibitor zone, so I wonder how much of an in impact that has on innovation's way of playing this too. Scott doesn't have lings just yet. She's trying to play catch up on the work account. Her lings are about halfway done. There's going to be even more drones going down again. It's just repercussions, trying to play catch-up from earlier, and now you lose even more drones because you're playing catch-up. Twelve workers. Again, at least you get rid of the Hellions, so the big benefit for Scarlet in that regard is her creep spread will go really, really well, right? There's not any Hellions or map control for a while here, before, you know, to push that creep back. And that's the one thing, I mean, that is scary against Scarlet. She's very good at spreading creep, so undenied. Now she's going to be even stronger as we see this Viking turned away. The Overlord will just save Nubitaz Carapace. Coming to the rescue, Ling's counterattack, and also the lack of Hellions there could have a bit of an impact, and there's in fact not really anything to defend that third CC apart from one single Marine. Kind of surprised Scar turned away rather than getting some more damage out on it. Seeing the starport lifting up, moving over to our reactor here, other Zerglings still coming over the left hand side. All Marines continuing out, Siege Tank building up as well. Stim does complete. And do potentially have a uh, bit more pressure coming out from Innovation shortly. He has this Liberator around the top, Scarlet sees it coming from a mile away. That Spore Crawl on the main is already relocating. And it's just going to go into a very preemptive position, so. Liberate going to be keeping the Queen away by sieging up as well. Scarlet's not going to obviously worry herself with that. She has got Lings on the map as she's picking off those rocks. And with the Scout of the Overseer, she's going to confirm that this is going to be a Bio style. So now she knows what she's playing against as well. And she's going to opt for the Hydra's Den this time around rather than the Mutalisk. So, again, it's a different style from Scarlet. And that means maybe Innovation can utilize more drop play this time. Because while the Hydra's can pick off Medivax, they can't chase Medivax into dead airspace like Mutas can. So there's still more value and more possibility with drops. And we'll see on the top side as the Vikings are going to be coming through, chasing that Overseer down. So Overseer is going to be chased away there. 
Some more overlords continue to gather together. Zerglings and Banes coming through too. Factory just about halfway done. Again, more of these Marines from Innovation through the center of the map. This gun comes down, creep being cleaned up. It's a bunch of creep cleaned out right there. This is the thing, Scott loses a few more drones. If Innovation can get this map control back without this creep spread on, this 2-2 two -two timing could be very deadly, right? Just because of the damage Scarlet took earlier in the game. And obviously this game Scarlet's not had many run by so help deal some damage to Innovation. She's behind on her own 2-2 as well which means that Innovation will have that little bit of an upgrade timing window to hit in as well. Barracks just continuing to gather together for the moment as we do see those Marines gathering up on the top side of the map. Still coming forwards here and seeing where they can go. Plus two melee, plus two carapace on the way out. So finally Scarlet going into her own 2 2. I mean, it's kind of needed. Those Hydras won't have upgrades though, so she's going to be playing very Ling Bane centric with Hydras as a support and unit for the most part here. I mean, there's still going to be a lot of Hydras, but. Yeah, prioritizing the melee upgrades initially is commonly done with Hydras. And the Banes connecting, etc. are some of the more important parts. And of course, you can get missiles a bit later on, you just don't want a third Evo Chamber. Because that's kind of a big investment in all those upgrades at once. They can kind of just kill you just by, you know, making you so weak in the moment. Never would have mind drop innovation. I've been enjoying these would have mind drops today. They've been fun to watch. I mean, a few of them have been denied. It's the first would have mind. Went off pretty well so far. Innovation, I think, will be happy with that. I never would have my shot. Didn't even see that one. Man, that creep from Scott is back on the map. Almost halfway through again. This is the weakest part on the top, but she's immediately up there to fix it. So that's definitely something to uh, try and fix here. Another scan drops down in the main base, and Innovation just keeping track of what's going on on the top right hand side. Sees that hive starting up, so that's obviously good information in terms of timing when you can expect to maybe have to play against Broodlords this time. Compared to the last game, where of course he didn't really have any expectation of Broodlords at all, so he was really caught a bit off guard. I'm surprised he hasn't gone with the 2 2 timing. I mean, he's across here now, but his 3 3 has been going for a while. He's going to still attack before Scholar hits 2 2 just by a few seconds. And even then, it's plus 2 melee. The carapace is a bit further behind that as well. Ooh, loses an empty medevac. Fortunately, not one of the ones that loaded up marines there. Fire through the center, creep being cleaned out once again. As the invasion continues to push across over towards the right hand side of the map. Free free upgrades still coming in. The hatchery in the bottom right corner going to complete in a few moments as well. Vipers on the way out also. This bioforce comes through, creep. Cleaned out once again, I think he's gonna jump on some Widow Mines. Got all those going off and doing a pretty decent job as the Lings, the Banes, the Hydras. Kind of doing what they're doing, defending on the front lines, but Marines in the main, that's something Scarlet has no response to, and that's just a dead mineral line. Scarlet did not respond at all. Now losing the extractor, the spawning pool, I mean. You can tell that Scarlet knows she's in trouble because she's going into Ultras rather than going in towards Broodlords, and that's just because she's like, well, Ultras are gonna help me like here and now. But they're definitely not going to help her win a longer game, so she's kind of maybe hoping to just overwhelm in one fight. But even that's looking unlikely. Her supplies are down, Innovation's upgrades are up, and they are continuing to just... I mean, everything Innovation's doing, this drop was really good, pressure at the front has been really good at the same time. A couple more reactors dropping into play on those starports, so just preparing for the eventuality of potential Broodlords. So, uh, of course, you can also get out Liberators already, but he's building Vikings so far, but Liberators can help with the Ultras too, so either way, extra Starports and Reactors on them go a long way against whichever tech choice Scarlet makes on Hive. But of course, again, Vikings aren't going to really help against Ultras, we all saw that cinematic, we know what happens to a Viking if it lands against an Ultra, whack, it gets destroyed. Again, not even sure how much these Ultras are going to come into play. As you do see, the Vipers coming through, I mean, the Vipers have some, you know, 
Blinding Clouds could maybe kind of force this bio into bad positions. First one landed pretty well, but Innovation responded brilliantly, and now there's no Banelings on this top side of the map, and it's a nice Parasite bomb is going to kill a Medivac or two. But look at Innovation, he just sims into all of those Hydras, doesn't even go for the base, he just knows how valuable these units are. Now Lings are streaming in on their own, they're not going to do brilliantly. Finally the Ultra shows up, and the Ultra showing up is going to be the saving grace for the moment, but there's still units in the bottom right, killing a Hatchery. I mean, you've seen the Ultras immediately, Innovation starts to liberate us. Liberator range is on the way as well, so he was already preparing for that with the Fusion Core as well. And it looks as though we're probably going to be tied up here 1-1 in this best of five grand final. Bayon's picking away at that Ultralisk, Hydra's in the bottom right. Able to clean up the drop, but not before the base was killed. And obviously, as more drones go down for Scott, she has again just been in trouble from the start of this game. Trouble, trouble, trouble is what's been spelled out all game long, and... As these ultras come through, we're going to see them picking their way up through these bio units. And everything dies off for an evasion, but he's already maxed out again back at home. 106, 110 army supply to 64 of Scarlet. Innovation is in a fantastic position here. A, a truly beautiful position at the moment. And it's going to be seeding Scarlet, ultras and hydras moving back over to the right. Liberator siege and up. Vikings pressing in. Marines are going to stem forward with these widow mines coming in too. So the widow mines going to burrow up the marines. Trying to press forwards too, we're going to siege up a couple of these Liberators, the Ultra there, taking quite a bit of damage, is just going to go down. Liberators got taken down too, I mean the abducts into the Hydra's working out, Scarlet is holding on for whatever worth she can, I mean, loses that Ultralisk though, and Ultras feel very irreplaceable now, she's going to start up three of them, but it's going to take so long for them to finish, Innovation is already in her base, so, looking very good. And as we're going to be seeing those Widow Mines burrowing up. She had an Investor out, but it's just not going to be enough. GG's! Innovation ties us up. 1-1. One, one, one. Some sound. He's in the bottom right of King's Cove, and he's going to proxy Rax as Scarlet is in the top left of King's Cove. And she is not going to proxy Rax because she is a Zerg player. First SCVs over to the left. And Scarlet is going to open hatch first, it would seem. Drone moving down to the low ground. Just the two racks from Innovation here. So Scarlet, uh, I think that was a two racks of special earlier. I was able to pull through. Didn't end up in too much trouble. Winner of this goes on a match and tournament point. So it's a big game. It can really almost be the make or the break of the series already. I kind of like Scarlet on these larger maps though. Now this was a map earlier, Innovation against Ayasun, who played Mechon. And uh, played into the mass battlecruiser in the late game. He actually opened with a battlecruiser build. We saw Scarlet dealing with the battlecruiser of special earlier too. Wasn't too much of an issue. So we definitely know she can survive that. Booker starts. Drone's already pulled down here. Sword coming in, so... He's just gonna try and slow this first bunker down already. First Marine is not here yet. Here it is now. A bunker is gonna start building. Oh my god, is this actually gonna be a save on that bunker? It was so low. It's a pretty sick save, to be fair. And innovation looks as though he's gonna get this bunker up. More drones are gonna pull, though. Now, Supply Depot walls this area off. Now the Marines are safe, and now the drones can't really do anything there, so Innovation... Good first bunker. It's a very laid back bunker, right? It's pushed back so it's not in range of the hatchery. But it's a good fallback point as now these marines are going to hit that spine crawler. They're going to force drones and lings forwards. Of course, then they can fall back to the bunker if needed. So it's a lot of damage. That spine is taking a lot of hits. And Scarlet is going to be punished for building that in the front. Cancels and rebuilds. And now we see lings and drones diving for this SCV. I think Innovation's going to finish up that depot as well. Oh, okay, well, he has another uh, SCV. Scarlet's gonna try and target it down. That bunker doesn't finish. It's a deny by Scarlet there. And now this queen's gonna go down, of course. A lot died in the process of trying to save this uh, bunker from finishing. Innovation doesn't send another SCV across the map either. Falls back into that bunker, uses as a way to actually get the damage marine back. Good target fire from Scarlet. Targets the damage marine, he picks it off with one hit. Nicely done. 
Another couple of Zerglings being picked off here as the Queens are going to transfuse each other back up to half a little bit. Why did Scarlet cancel the spine? Because it was about to die, it was being targeted by the Marines, and if she doesn't cancel it, it's just going to die, and she doesn't get any refund back, so... This world's defended, though, I mean... So has this bunker that's just in front of her natural to deal with. Innovation is yet to start a command center at home or anything, though, so... It's it's manageable for the moment. I think it's a defense from Scarlet, and just needs to play into a few more drones now, which she can definitely afford to do. And she can bring her spine forwards, and that spine and that bunker will eventually die without too much more cost to Scarlet as well, hopefully. We'll see what the Marines can perhaps do if they try and push forward themselves. See what they're going to try and target down. So here comes the spine, Scarlet trying to find the right spot, and I think that's it perfectly. And as that bunker will salvage away, and there it is. So bunker salvages. Now Scarlet can pick away that supply depot too. That's actually kind of nice. The innovation did build that there for Scarlet's sake, right? So, uh, yeah, that's going to be a kill. And actually, innovation going to be close to being supply blocked from that. CC isn't ready just yet, so in fact, he will be supply blocked from that. 30 over 39. It's, it's close. The other depot starts as we do see a Viking as the early production unit on the starport. Hellions coming out as well. One thing Scarlet has to be on top of this game is making sure that Hellions don't get too much damage in super early in the game, right? That would be absolutely disastrous if that happened once more, because that's what really allowed Innovation to get away with all of the aggression in that last game, and really just allowed him to kind of just have the advantage throughout, right? There was no point where Scarlet really brought it back at all. Innovation's very good, where if he gets that advantage, he will play with it, and he, he knows what he can do with it. He knows how he can attack with it, he knows what you can't do with it, and it just gives him so many corners, he can cut in so many ways to grab hold of the game. Scott has to be really cautious of not letting that get out of control here, of course. And as we are seeing the couple of Hellions coming up to the top. Less EVs as well. Link speed finishes now, and so it's going to see another Link down at the bottom of the side, running around a little bit here, see what's going on. Cruiser starts up on the starport. Scarlet just sees the factory still hasn't had much info. So yeah, the battle cruiser an interesting choice for Minou. I mean, it was kind of again how he played earlier today. Uh, but he didn't proxy racks on this map against ISO, and he just went straight into the BC build. So that's going to go for Hellbats as well. So it's definitely going to be some kind of mecha Scarlet. Man, again, the 16 lings are still in production as these Hellions come through. First lings go down, the rest of them, they're on their way, the queens are trying to come up to chase, the drones are stacking, oh my god. Somehow Innovation has the least stacked set of drones in that entire mineral line. Scarlet survives from a bit of a blunder, five drones killed. Innovation does indeed uh, get cleaned up. Only five workers for all those Hellions? I mean, it is mech, more Hellions being made, or likely to be mech, so more Hellions being made, so it's not the end of the world losing the Hellions, like, you know, you still have map control of Hellions. But especially if you're going into an armory and, like, potentially Hellbats, I mean, that's a lot less Hellions to have on your side now. EC shows up, this is the problem for Scarlet, she's not ready for this at all, she's really not prepared. She is immediately taking quite a bit of damage already, three drones down, and, well, the Queen's being chased around as well. I mean, for example, this Queen on the low ground is kind of just on its own, right, so... No reason at all Innovation shouldn't be able to get this kill. Well, maybe for a good transfusion. It's still going to go down as it tries to run away. Now finds an Overlord and this damage is just going to rack up here. Turns back towards the third base. A small will take some damage on the way in. Going to get rid of this Spine probably because he wants to get the Hellions as Hellbats into play now. And Scarlet's just not making units at all. Scarlet is actually just going to die to this. Because she's not making units. She's not ready. She's redroning. She's... Make, she's supply block, she's making Overlord, Scarlet is in so much trouble and innovation almost out of nowhere here on King's Cove is just going to come through and it is absolutely just destroying right now as Hellbats and Marines pressing up this ramp, Queens are going to get chased away and again those Hellbats keep pressing forwards, Marines hanging out as well, a couple of drones down in the third base and I mean here's uh, actually I hear a battle cruiser going off somewhere, I don't know where there it is, going to teleport in on top of the Queens, and as the Queens go down, I mean, it's really, there's only, really, a few Banes here to help out. Left hand side, our Blue Town player, up 2-1. This is innovation. One map away from becoming the champion, has some cheers now, a little bit louder than before, I feel. 
Bottom right, our red Zerg is Scott. Are you ready for the crowd to go wild? Definitely the fan favorite. The crowd definitely wants a game five in this series. Please and thank you, they say. What do I mean the final map? It could be the final map. It's only a best of five this final. Obviously it could not be. Innovation is gonna bunker rush again. Barracks coming down to the left of those mineral patches. So setting that up, getting that going. Let's see what's gonna go down here is. I'm gonna see the bad overlord though is gonna come through. Oh does she see it? I don't think. I feel like she oh she is just gonna see it. Oh yes, just really just. The two barracks scene Scarlet knows what's going on. You can't pull drones against this though, despite the scout, because it's just so far away, right? She's gonna try to. Four drones coming forward. This is what she tried to deal with Specials Bunker Rush earlier on. She did actually lose the game against Specials Bunker Rush. I remember it now. Because she actually against the Marines and then some Reapers were made. And she just kind of fell a bit too far behind. And that's where Special ran away with the game. So drones getting pulled. I mean, okay. I guess with three racks especially, you can probably deny the third racks from finishing. For a while at least, which is obviously pretty nice. And already gets two SCVs. Looking for a third! Innovation doesn't let it go just yet. Now the drones are chasing down that one poor marine. Even just losing the first marine here would be costly. Hasn't killed a drone yet. Oh my god, Scott's gonna get that marine, loses one drone. Still denies the third racks from finishing for just a bit longer. And now Ling's are out, and obviously only one SEV to try and bunker with. I think Innovation's in trouble. I think Innovation's really in trouble. Ten Ling's, two Queens in production. It's going to be really, really tough to make this work out. Spine Crawler dropping down. A couple Marines pressing through. The Lings continue to pull back. Now the Lings, though, can come forwards again without the bunker. We're going to be able to see these Lings just going to be able to just overwhelm these Marines. And Innovation has got a look at this as not a good scenario to be playing from. It's another Marine down, and she is still chasing. Two Marines left. Another one shows up. I think that might be the end of it, but she gets the SCV too. I mean, building up a spine, another, I mean, the queens as well, should be enough to hold off those marines now. Innovation, building more marines, rallying them home as those lings go across the map. What's up, Crypto Compare? Thank you so much for the 10 month resub. Says, cool win for Scarlet. It's looking good. Let's see, see, starts to build. The lings are going to check. The barracks aren't still building marines, so she knows now that it's not going to be continued marine production and SCV pull all in. She knows it is indeed just going to be that command center dropping down. So it is going to be a macro follow-up here from Innovation. Playing in the main base gets shut down as well. Another couple of units getting picked away at here. More Marines still gathering up together. Just trying to see what they can do. I'm just gonna go after that uh, Rax just for a moment or so and continue to pick their way through this. Obviously Skull doesn't have Ling speed, so she can't really punish that uh, command center on the low ground. Third CC for innovation as well. Just with slow Lings, there's just a large map. It takes a long time to move across, so. Can't really do much. There's that Rax in the main. Just scouting out. Skull just droning like a mad woman at the moment. Eight drones on the way, and this is all just going to push her into a bit of a lead as the free CC comes in from Innovation. That's going to be his way to try and play catch up here. Pretty much the best opportunity I think he has at this point. But man, Scarlet is really pressing herself into an advantage with this at the moment, like really pushing herself into a great position. This should be a good setup for the rest of the game now. I mean, this time it's going to be Scarlet that's ahead, not Innovation. It shouldn't be Innovation that can find Hellion run bys for a few drones and then, you know, start running away with things. Back's going to drop down Tech Lab. And we are just going to be seeing the Bane the Nest and the Lair coming through. It's very typical of what Scarlet's been playing so far today. Just into the Lair, the same time as the Bane Nest gives you Bane speed when that Lair finishes. And then of course you also have the opportunity to build up with the, um, you know, the build up into your kind of, you know, Lair choice, right? Do you go Spire? Do you go Hydralisks? 
I don't mind the idea of going Hydras now, um, given the situation, given the position we're in. Because I feel Mutalisks are going to give you that kind of control of the map. It's a nice large map as well. Hydras are hard to make work here anyways on Thunderbird, right? With only one entrance into the three bases. They're hard to really create an engagement with that really works out. And I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot of ramps that they get punished on when they try and engage. Let's continue to set this up. Thank you so much for the $5 donation, whoever that was. I'll have to... I just saw the $5 pop up, but nothing else. So I'll have to... Uh, Check your name after this game. Thank you so much for the five dollars though. Really, really do appreciate it. Oh, the CF flying around. Viking coming in as well. Still also trying to see what else is going on. Stimpak starting up now. Another barracks gonna be finished starting in the main. Stimpak starts, that bio play gets going. I mean, again, I feel Scarlet, a strong start. And her versus bio play has been spectacular today. It's a very concerning situation here for innovation. At least innovation will find this overseer, which is something to kill off. Small win, Scarlet opening up rocks and pathways, making sure Innovation can't abuse that with siege tank positions or whatever. What are the positive numbers next to the minerals and the gas? It's the income per minute. So, Innovation's getting about 2,000 minerals a minute there. 2.2k. Scarlet's about 500 minerals a minute ahead and gas per minute ahead, like three or 400. So, Scarlet just has so much more to work with. And again, that's just that economy built up based on how the uh, game started off. Oh, truly, in a great spot to put us to a game five here. How exciting is that? Going the distance in this ace match, uh, in this grand final, and we already had the distance as well in the third place match too. So it's really awesome. Some great games coming out this tournament today. So we're about six hours into this too. It's really passed like a. Uh, it's passed real quick. I tell you that. It's been real speedy going through. What a mines, marines. Pressing forwards through the center of scan, we'll get rid of a couple of creep tumors here already. So a couple of creep tumors going down, an infestation pit now coming in at the front as well. And Scarlet Supply is getting closed upon by innovation, right? But this is truly only because Scarlet's starting to tech up into a lot of different things. And innovation, you know, she's still, you know, not really teching into things, she's just spamming units. Scott's getting the muters up now. Bane's actually going to look to try and connect. Man, has to be careful. That would have mind. That would have been bad. Like that though. The Bane's pulled back. Letting the Lings deal with the lone single marine. Not worth you wasting Bane Lings on, of course. A little bit more creep in the center. Going to get picked off. And again, two two upgrades. From innovation have stars. So the two twos are pretty similarly timed as well, so even that's gonna be a little bit of an issue for innovation. It means he's not gonna have that timing window which he likes to try and strike in. Well, it's uh pretty ineffective uh <laughs> wooden mind shot in the end doesn't really do much. Skull just replacing some of that creeper in the center again. More muters on the way. We haven't really seen the muters do anything just yet apart from just cleaning up that widow mine now. And obviously innovation sat back very passively. Now trying to get drilling claws up as he also brings a four into play. Scott's vision with that uh, zergling does reveal the medivac moving down the left hand side. Zergling up here is going to get picked off as well. Things still running through the center of the map now and with Muters and Banes gathering up as well. Lots of potential here! Scarlet to come and dive in on those marines. Again, a couple of lings charging ahead to begin this. Now the is going to be able to grab that widow mine too. And back into the main, innovation going to be able to deal some damage. Some widow mines, uh, some drones going to start dropping. This is nice. I bring Scarlet back. It's the first play from innovation that's really going to deal some damage here for quite a while. Otherwise, it's just been kind of lone widow mines trading out with a couple of units here and there. It's not been anything crazy. 
mutants will clean up that drop though, and that's why those drops aren't expected to be kind of en masse or anything. The mutants will just shut them down, and it's hard to find the value of the drop if you drop in a lot and the mutants are just chasing them down all the time. Bane's morphing in, Scarlet's finishing 2 2. The thing is, Scarlet shouldn't be in too much of a rush to fully fight. She's got Corruptors on the way and Brood's coming through as well. Now Innovation's preparing for that. Two more Starports coming down. Scarlet looks like she just wants to defend, uh, take down his fourth base. Oh my god, the Widow Mine's on Burrowed. The Widow Mine's all get blown up. That might just be game already. Like, I mean, no oh, splash damage really available here at all. There's the rest of the Bailings. Oh my god. This is going to be a massacre. It's coming through up the ramp. A few Banes leading ahead just in case of Widow Mines. Lings are coming through too. The Planetary Fortress on the 4th is dropping down. And Scott's advantage is really clear now. One opportunity going in when the Widow Mines weren't, un uh, weren't burrowed. Innovation wasn't expecting it. She was expecting Scott to go up into Hive Tech. But she did not. And now she's going to be attacked. Top left of Cyber Forest. We have got Innovation. Crowd's getting a bit more hyped. Just to the bottom right, though, we've got Scarlet coming in from Canada. Looking to win a championship here in China. Good money on the line. This is a very regular and big event over in uh, China. It happens multiple times a year. Happens multiple times a year. $8,600 for first place. $4,300 for second, so it's a big gap between first and second in the prize money. It's worth keeping in mind. Extractor cancelled. Just a trick here to get one supply extra. It is a gas pool early in the game, so that's really, really aggressive from Scarlet here. Maybe just looking for a fast win, even. You, know, you get that link speed up, there's so much you can do with it. Really stop a CC coming down the low ground, etc. Well, Link Speed will start. She's still mining gas in full, it seems. So maybe more than just Lings, maybe something. Okay, she's pulled out of gas now, but she did go a bit over and pulled out all at once. So she went to 16 gas. Yeah, definitely a bit more than she was expecting now. Oh, Innovation SCV Scouts. Wow. Because he. Because he wasn't going to SCV Scout either. That was the thing. If he didn't SCV scout, he would have been in real trouble. He might still be because of the Ling Speed, right? The Ling Speed can still kill a Reaper if you're not careful, so if you just assume it's a few early Lings, it's still tough to know exactly what this is right away, and you're still probably going to have to cancel that Command Center. Again, what a scout for innovation. Up this ramp, there's something he knows it's not hatch first. And he did see that hatchery now building up. He's decided to go in towards the main, because I think he wants to check if Ling Speed's on the way. Another great scout, a lot of people will just send that SCV home, Innovation makes sure it sees the link speed. That's actually huge info for him now. There's the Reaper, yep, look at that, immediate cancel on the command center and Scarlet, well she's just going to build drones from here. There's not much more for those speedlings to get done. Could me, mm, there's a Marine and a Reaper, could you maybe kill that reactor that's building? I feel like anything that's the best choice you have to do damage, but it's just not going to happen. As we are going to be seeing the hatchery coming up on the natural, so... Scarlet's expansion coming through, obviously cancelling the expansion of innovation. This year, Scarlet is behind in workers from this, so... Again, without doing more than just cancelling the CC... Doesn't seem too crazy as... You can see, innovation starts a bunker. What did he see to start a bunker? He's very afraid of a roach follower, but there is no roach follower. Things pressing through. Oh, they're gonna surround the Reaper! Good pick off. Just one less unit to worry about here as we see a, I mean... Starport on the way for innovation. Factory goes to the reactor, so it's gonna be more Hellenes. Already has one out. A little bit tough here at the moment. There's gonna be seeing the barracks dropping down the tech lab. Command Center is gonna finish up. It's gonna lift and move elsewhere. Third hatchery getting started, more drones on the way out. Starport's gonna lift, move over to that tech lab, barracks drops down as well, Ling's still trying to pressure forwards. Gonna choose to go into the cloak here on that uh, starport as well, so cloak on the way out. this queen. Produce as well. Man, it's a bit of a tense game, isn't it? Third hatchery coming up from Scarlet. Innovation finally getting his orbital morphed in on the natural expansion. 
Final map, guys. Championship point, championship map. Winner of this takes home $8,700. Second place takes home half of that, so it's a big payday difference. Man, Scarlet winning the championship would be pretty insane. When was the last time we saw Scarlet win out in something like that? It was feels like a long time ago. Pyeongchang, I guess. Last year. It wasn't that long ago, really. Scarlet's always such a competitor. It's amazing. Always vying for titles. A few Hellions moving through the center. Ling's pressing forwards, and a couple of SCVs are going to go down. Hellions pulling back down to the bottom right, and it's going to be seeing a couple more engineering bays coming through. Oh, God, the Ling's are uh, going to get a wrap around. More Hellions dropping. Scott continue to just deflect, defend, and look at the drones at home as well. So many drones, because she's killed a Hellion. She feels good. She starts with the bailing speed now as well. Crowd's getting rowdy for this fifth game, I'm telling you that. Lings, again, are just looking for those Hellions, and they're kind of over here. The Lings, oh, they couldn't quite cut those Hellions off. Maybe now as they try to fire, there's another one. Okay, now Scholar might be able to get more. Oh my god, I think she actually had the surround there, but lost it. Either way, gonna get the kill. All oh, the Hellions going down, and Skull is just sat at home, making so many drones. The Overseer in the main is gonna scout the 3 CC. It's the two Banshees in the main. That's the biggest problem now, is she will start to lose some workers. Losing three isn't that bad when you consider how much she has droned up, though. She could do with an Overseer. Not sure if he's got one coming in with these Queens, as the Queens do come up the ramp. It's another Dread Drone, so now that's five workers lost, so Innovation getting some damage with the Banshees. Well, we're gonna move out to the third base, gonna drop down in a moment or so, and again the Banshees just looking, I guess now for Creep Spread, take away map control if they can't take away drones. Looping around through to the top side. Skull will have seen it, they flew over the creep though, and one of them wasn't cloaked. Scarlet has 67 drones. Again, this is her comfort zone, this is where she loves to be at. And this is where it uh, really, this is what it really comes down to. It's great that we get a nice macro game between them here for this fifth game as well. Spire starts up from Scarlet, so we're going to see the muters yet again from her. She's really enjoyed them so far. I kind of like this map for Lingbei and Hydra though, so I guess it's very choky though. And again, the muters have worked out for us so far today as these Banshees again finding openings for four drones. Now one of the Banshees goes down, the other doesn't have energy. That's both Banshees killed. So Innovation losing some of his own presence on the map now. Not going to be able to do as much, well, anything more with those Banshees at this stage. I think it's bringing through some of these rocks as we see Creep being cleaned out in the center. Marines over the left hand side getting rid of some more Creep Tumors as well. Doing a very good job of this at the moment. More Creep going down. Again, fantastic job at this point as we see Ling's going to wrap around and this is going to be forced to lift. Innovation takes a bit of a supply lead, but Scarlet has money banked. She's waiting for that Spire to finish so she can build muters. And obviously when the muters come out, she's very likely to maybe get one or two of those medivacs as well. There's not a lot of ledges that the Lings can't chase up on this map that the medivacs can then fly away from and kind of escape right to unload. Rings, Winter Mines, and Medivac through the center as Innovation's pushing once again. Looking to keep up this pressure. 2 2 upgrades coming in as well. A couple of Banes chased off now. Scarlet being very cautious about where she fights in. Oh my god, the Widow Mines! Ah, somehow didn't really do that much. And even the last one, the last one was actually a lot better than I thought. I saw it hit the Overseer, but it did splash nicely. And he's pressing through. Another couple of Blains showing up. Now the Muters though in better numbers. That's one of the only ledges you can jump up to do this on. I was just saying how it's very difficult to get away and do this with uh, Medivacs on this map, but that is like from down there to the main is obviously one of the only positions it really works in. Nice play by Innovation making the most of this, and the Medivac will fall in the end. 
Scarlet supply block though, and that's hurting her as Innovation's gonna keep up the pressure. Has a 2-2 upgrade lead as well, so might be able to make something from this now. Obviously, that could be uh, pretty crazy as we do see the units coming out through the center of the map. Scarlet keeping herself alive, but I truly believe is in quite deep trouble here. Again, the thing is, Innovation responded so well early game. The one thing I was worried about was that we just saw Scarlet just going drone crazy, right? She defended the Banshees well, etc., and she defended the Hellions well. And that was why I really thought Scarlet had something good going for herself, but it's not worked out. This in the center is going a bit better, but again, she's fighting without the 2-2 upgrade, so it's hurting. Got a mind drop in the mineral line! 13 workers and 15! With a couple links to boot, that's going to be... A dead mineral line, and now Scarlet's really in trouble, because now Scarlet doesn't have army, now Scarlet doesn't have the work account she needs, and if she builds up the work account, the next push from Innovation could be very, very scary to try and push back. So this could get real tough here in the next few moments. As we have Lings and Banes gathering together. Mealisk still flying around. So what else is going on? Marine stimming. These mutants really need to try and find something here in the next few moments. They really need to try and find something. If this is to work out. Hive is on the way, but innovation is going to attack way before Hive is done, of course, so. He has some time before he has to worry about them Hive units. Of course, Scarlet has some time where she has to worry about not having the Hive units while trying to tech into them. It's expensive. Bane's moving through. Again, a few Marines. The Link counterattack. This is the sort of thing that Scarlet needs. Marines not in the bunker there right away, and... Well, more units coming down the low ground here to fight. How many workers are going to go down here? Six? Six just isn't quite enough, really, right? Because it's a lot of Lings that have fallen. Bane's... Clean up Widow Mines in the front. Innovation, obviously, a lot of reinforcements. We just saw them at home. We'll now be crossing the map. Queen's going down, and another few Banes trying to just save the day. But even then, I mean, the Queen's dropping is painful. And again, look at them reinforcements coming through. Scarlet's got 17 Banes on the way, but she didn't even have any ready just yet. So that's the prime time for Innovation to be trying to make something happen. Oh, the Widow Mine goes down, but still shoots afterwards. That was crazy. I really thought that Widow Mine was dead before it had shot off, as we see another Widow Mine doesn't really do much. The few of them that ran down there didn't do a lot. Here he goes, Scarlet's gonna die for it. Widow Mine's gonna go off, Innovation stims his army, pulls away. Scarlet pressing through, but there's just so much bio on the ground. The last few Banes aren't gonna do enough, and then the Marines, of course, will do fantastic against the Mutalus. Here's the Ling stream in. Scarlet doesn't really have the numbers, and now she doesn't have any Banelings at all, so it's gonna be Lings and Mutas against bio. That doesn't go well, especially as Innovation is not ahead on upgrades yet, but I mean, he's just going to get so much done with this fight now, and then he's going to have free free for the next fight, and again, Scarlet's just spamming out units and just can't quite survive it. I mean, she'll never get up to Hive Tech, and even if she lifts up, backs away, the Widow Mines get Muta kills. Even if Innovation lifts up and backs away, right, Scarlet is now going to be fighting 2-2 against free free in the next minute or so, and it's not going to get any easier for Scarlet here. Another Widow Mine shot is going to kill just a couple of Zerglings. Scarlet is truly at the end of a life cycle here in this series, man. She was so close, so brings it to five games. Wasn't quite as easy as Innovation suggested it might be at the start in his uh, introductory interview. It wasn't quite as easy as he thought it might be, but well, here we are now. In our dying moments of this series, perhaps Innovation is about to hit free free upgrades, and there's just no reason at all for him to give up the pressure, right? He knows the kind of position he's in, he knows he's doing well, the mutilist count is not what it used to be, it's nothing to turn around running home to deal with. As we are going to be having the Marines stepping down, going to see if Queen gets picked off right away. A few Banelings going to press through. On the right hand side a drop is going to be a distraction as Scarlet starts to lose their space, she has a lot of Banes to try and defend with, but again her army supply is half that of Innovation, Innovation's already getting a few Banes before it starts. Widow Mines set to go, and they will start to blow up as much as they can, and you can just see again the Baneling count isn't high enough. She gets the Widow Mines, which is really nice, but again, then there's no Banelings left, so this Bio's going to get the hatchery. Innovation, very happy with this, I think, and obviously now can maybe change direction to the right-hand side, where there is still Marauders actually trying to blow up 
this base. Gets a few of the Banelings as well. Again, there's just no Banelings to really fight the main army. Five morphing in. Scarlet is still just hanging on by a thread, if even that. A thread that's been cut in half already, it feels like. As we're going to be seeing the bio units pulling back a little bit. Lings and Bane still pressing forwards. Marauders in the front here. They're going to get picked away at two. As you are going to see, the mute is going to be able to pick away at some of these widow mines. Again, there's just so much bio. Eventually, this was coming. The overwhelming moment where innovation just has the numbers to push on through, and now there's no stopping him. And Scarlet knows it. GG, innovation.